Hey guys, welcome to another server miners tutorial and today it's on how to create a modded server using the AT launcher. So this is an alternative to using maybe Twitch or Curse, um, but you can get some really cool mods using this launcher. So first of all, we are in our SM Picnic control panel. We need to go to the left over to installer and we're going to scroll down to the category section to the AT launcher mod packs. Click on this and it's going to give you a long list of all the different mod packs that you can get for this launcher. So there's some really cool ones here. You can even search for one up at the top if you want to find a specific one. Uh, but we're going to go for Sky Factory 4. Uh, that sounds pretty fun. So click on versions and then we need to select whatever version we want. Probably best to select the latest version and this needs to be the same as the client version as well. So you can change the name of the world if we want to, so world one. And we can change the Java version, but eight is recommended. So go ahead and install that and once that's done we need to go to atlauncher.com and once we're here we need to actually download the launcher. So go to downloads up at the top and then scroll down to the bottom we've got Windows, Mac and Linux so download whichever one you have and then once we've done that we can install it. So go ahead and unzip the file and we can open it up so double click it there we go and it's going to pop open there's going to be a window up at the top sort of a console that opens and it's going to download an update there we go give it a few seconds and the actual launcher is going to pop open so there's a couple of things we need to do here first of all we need to actually log in using our minecraft account so put in your username or email and obviously your password and click add so that will add your minecraft account whatever it is there we go and it should find the skins so there we go you can see donald duck then we need to go to instances so we don't have any at the moment Let's go to Packs and find Sky Factory 4. There it is, that's very easy. And we need to click New Instance. So once we've done this, we can select the version. So this must be the same as your server version, which was 4.0.8. And once we've found that, we can click Install. Now this uh, might take a while, but with the power of editing, I can make it look super quick. And once we've done that, go back to Instances and click Play. Now this bit took um, about 10 minutes for me. It took quite a while. Um, but I'm going to speed it up, make it look very, very quick in editing, which is pretty awesome. So you don't have to sit through 10 minutes of that. And there we are. We are on Sky Factory. So all we need to do now is just add our server, which is obviously videotutorials.serverminer.com. And once we have done that, we can go ahead and join it. So it should pop up any second now. And then when it does, we can join it and we'll be on a Sky Factory server. And here we are, we are in the game now. You can see that there's a map there, we've got a book, there's loads of cool blocks and achievements and everything. Um, so it's working perfectly and we could go ahead and start playing. So if you need any help, feel free to leave a comment or contact support at serverminer.com. If you want to access the download links, they'll all be in the description. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.